Welcome back to my channel. It's me, your girl, Yeti. If you're new to my channel, welcome and thank you for joining. And if you're returning, thank you guys for always sticking around me. So in this video, it's all about DIY. Yeah, DIY. So I will be showing you how to make Ankara bow tie. You can use any fabrics of your choice, but I will be making use of African print and Carol print and all I need for this project definitely is my fabric which I am using and Carol print a tape measurement yeah and then um, my scissors my sewing thread that matches you can use a color that matches with the print you want so I've only got this one and my sewing machine of course which I have got uh, the next thing I will be doing is the length I'm working with. I'm working with a length of 10 inches and 8 inches with the wide net. And the next thing I will be doing is to take my measurement and make sure to measure my, just to measure round my round neck, just to measure the neck. So, because you will be needing a strip to sew around it to tie. So just make sure you go a right side for yourself that is not too tight for you. Then let me see what I'll be working with. With 16 inches for the round neck measurement and that's for the purpose of the strip I'll be making to tie the, the bow. But just to have a bit of allowance because I don't want it too tight on me that, you know, that much. So I'll be working with 17 inches. So guys, let's get to job. Here's my fabrics which I will be measuring my 10 inches out of the fabric so I'll unfold the fabric back with my tailor shock so you can mark it with a pen wherever you go and I'm working with a width of 8 inches yeah that's the length width so which I will be marking as well with my tailor shock and then the next thing is to get my ruler because I love to use ruler. You can use your hand. I just love to reuse the ruler just to make sure I got the right, you know, make it joining. So which is like now. So just make sure the joining is right. Like so. Like so. And I will go straight up to make sure the line. Yeah. Next thing is just to cut this side out, which I will be making. Here's my piece cut out. So here is my piece cut out. The next thing I am going to do is to fold it into two. So the left side together. Fold it into two like so. Then I just add to the sewing mesh. Um, you can make use of the thread that matches with the color, but for the purpose of this, project I'll be making use of the same thread which I already got on my sewing machine Three. the next thing I will do I'll make a straight stitch from here downward then I've just make um, a straight stitches the next thing I do is turn the piece inside out In order to have a um, smooth edges, you know, in the corner, so you can make use of your scissors just to push the edge out, or if you have a pen or whatever thing can fit to that head, so they can come out like, so they can be smooth. So just push it out there. There you go. And the next thing you do is just to fold this in and stitch it down as well as you can see i have stitched the straight the edge straight down so the next thing you do is fold it like so and then here is your bow it's already formed the bow shape i want so here is the piece which already form and to secure the middle for you, you can do it in three different ways. You can use a glue in between to keep it secure. You can stitch it, you know, with sewing thread and needle, 
and you can also make a sewing thread just to secure it so which i will be using a sewing thread so i'll be making use of a sewing thread like so i'll be making use of there just be making use of a sewing thread after securing in the meter like this next thing is to get the sewing thread and just go around round just keep going as much as you can and then um, you can tie the knot and here is the bow piece the next thing i do is i will be cutting a piece out in order to keep the middle of the bow secured yeah. just a tiny piece like that so fold it in half in the middle so to keep it secure you can use your higher because i know how to work around this and the next thing is to fold the second one in between as well, like so. So what I do is, you can do it two ways. You can take it to your sewing machine and fold it like so and stitch it down. But I prefer, I prefer to use glue, it's just to get my glue. And the next thing I do is just um, apply glue in between the folds. It's just to and the purpose is there when folding the fabrics again together it can be secured down applying the glue in the center just again fold it you get it into two so like so just make sure you press it down much as you can to keep it secure see is my long strip which i will be cutting into two because i'll be making use of one for my daughter apply the glue on the strip you know the side i will be covering the the middle of the bow you know where you applied your the thread to keep it secure so you just press it firm as much as possible and you get the order and and just like roll it around as firm as possible just to make sure I have a firm hand sometimes I like to apply extra glue as well in between the roll so, and here is my bow next thing is that I'm gonna make the strip the long strip so what you can do for the strip you can sew it or whatever you like you can glue it down so I'll be cutting the long strip out which is um 17 inches i will be attaching it to the bow with my glue and that the strip is just for me to use it to tie it around my head. so i'll be working with 17 and 2 inches wide so that's 2 inches and 17 inches so all i have is the strip with a length of 17 inches and a width of 2 inches so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half as well, this, like so. Now we will be applying my glue in the center. in the center like so in between the folds like so and just to make sure like so you just keep applying the glue in between them and just keeps going down and get a strip and fold them in half like so. keep it sick to keep them secure make sure they have smooth edges as you fold as you fold along and press down you know to make sure the glue to apply the strip make sure it's folding too so that you can get the center line and you just have to like glue it down right here apply it there like apply it in the center then you just apply your strip and press it down so just press it down as much as you can see so it's well secured so 
So I'm going to be trying this and then let's see how it is. Here's how the bowl looks on me. What do you think? If you like it, leave me a comment and a thumbs up. And hope you find my instruction to make it the way you want it. Instead of tying it to the back, you can use hook and eye as well to keep it secure. It just depends on how you want it. So I hope it looks nice on me and I hope you guys like it. guys for watching. It's me, your girl, as always, Yeti. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to give me your girl thumbs up.